Hi, how are you? It's Travis in here and welcome back to our adventures in the season of Discovery. Last episode, we went into the dead mines and collected some white oak stone lumber for the Varigan's Fist quest chain. Here it is right here. And today we are in Thesselmar, which is in Loch Medan. We're going to have a chat here with Baylor Stonehand, and we're going to do the quest Baylor's Ore Shipment. Ah, oh, you startled me, woman. Can't you see I was lost in thought? What's that? Jordan Shipment for Iron Forge. Oh, yeah, I know what you speak of. Mogrosh Ogres. That's who took me old friend's ore shipment. Caravan was heading here from the wetlands and was ambushed. The guard who survived their attack just passed away a few days ago. Hela couldn't get to him fast enough. If you want the shipment, you'll have to head northeast across the lock. It's got to be there somewhere. All right, so here we go. Off to fight some ogres, guys. I believe they're elites. Hopefully we will be able to deal with them. Someone asked me if I wanted tank stockades. Not at the moment. We're focused on the Varigan's fist quest chain. We will be doing stockades afterwards, though. Probably. That's... That is the dungeon that's next up. So we have to head all the way up here, guys. I wonder if there's any other quests we could do. While we kill Chalk Soul. Maybe we should pick up these other quests as well. I assume the, these are ogre quests. So we will... We'll get these quests too. Why not? Is he in here? Maybe this is one of those quests that are on a wanted poster. Oh, here he is. Two months just to hear from Iron Forge that we'll be spared a handful of soldiers for our own defense and another two months until they arrive. Bad enough that our town goes unprotected, but the excavation and the dam, the dam, are open to attacks as well. I've no choice then, it seems. I'll need hired arms. How about you? You seem a likely sort adventurer. Hmm. A group of ogres has set up camp on the northeast of the lake. Perhaps you could recruit some others and help remove the threat to our town. All right, here it is. A wanted poser. Wanted Chalk Sewell. By order of the Magistrate of Thesselmar, Chalk Sewell, the ogre, presumed to be the leader and coordinator of attacks against the town of Thesselmar, Stone Rock Dam, and the excavation site, is wanted dead through any means necessary. Monetary compensation will be provided when proof is brought to the magistrate of Choxul's death. Choxul was last seen at the ogre encampment in the northeastern part of Loch Madan. Okay, so there we go. We got that all set up. I think we'll set this place as our, our hearth spot. Why not? Okay, because we will be coming back here after we finish these quests. We got level 25 last episode, guys. The innkeeper, there he is. And I forgot to give ourselves a talent. I think. Pull up a chair. We've stories Let's to check tell that out. To empty. Oh, we unlocked a new row. Vindication gives the paladin damaging melee attacks a chance to reduce the target's strength and agility by 5%. Not bad for tanking, I guess. Even though it's in the retribution tree. Conviction increases your chance to get a critical strike with melee weapons by 1%. That's awesome, actually. Feel a command gives the paladin a chance to deal additional holy damage equal to 70% of normal weapon damage. Only one seal can be active on the paladin at any one time. Lasts 30 seconds. Unleashing the seal's energy will judge an enemy, instantly causing 60 to 65 holy damage, 121 to 129 if the target is stunned or incapacitated. Seal a command. Pretty damn good. I think we'll take that. We'll check it out. And the other one was Pursuit of Dexus. Increases movement speed and mount, mount movement speed by 4%. This is not stacked with other movement speed increasing effects. That is also pretty damn good. Okay. Let's so let's get Seal of Command up there. Put it as Shift 2 for now. I'll try to combo it in with Seal of Martyrdom.
I wonder if we can use both. Like, if we could use both seals for like one second. Try here. See if this works. Oh, that does a lot of damage. No. So what I think you're supposed to do. Supposed to use judgment there to unleash the seal. And then you get to keep both seals up for like one second. And if you get a hit with that, that usually hits for quite a bit. I remember doing that with my paladin in, in TBC. Here we are at the dam, guys. This place will be destroyed in Cataclysm. It's a shame. Such a nice place. All the cool spots get wrecked in Cataclysm. I think Cataclysm was actually supposed to be the end of WoW. But Blizzard's like, nah, we gotta keep this going. It seems that way. Because they do have books written in Classic about Deathwing. So... It seems like he was all a part of the plan even back when the game came out in 2004. But they don't have anything about pandas in vanilla. I, oh, I haven't found any lore about pandas or Pandaria. But they do, you know, have some clues about, you know, Wrath of the Lich King eventually coming out with, with Nax Ramus and then the Burning Crusade with many of the uh, quests in Felwood, I believe it's called. Always, yeah, Felwood. A lot of uh, TBC related quests there. All right, so here we are. Let's see if we can handle these elites, guys. No, it seems like the the seal goes away right away. In TBC, it lasts for like one extra second. We're barely taking any damage. We're actually wrecking this guy. Maybe it's because we have seal. We have a spark of inspiration that must be helping quite a bit. Maybe we should change few things here. We can use Crusader Strike. We don't really need the taunt. So we'll go with that. And we have uh, a Cruel Barb. We got that from Van Cleef last episode. 15.5 damage per second. And it gives us 12 attack power. Does between 30 to 57 damage. It's actually be better than our two-hander, so it's worth putting on. I wonder what, what I do more damage with Seal of Command or Seal of Martyrdom. Good thing about Seal of Mart man, it doesn't do damage to me. Because when you unleash Seal of Martyrdom, you do take some damage. So we will just use Seal of Command today. Give it a try. Doesn't really seem to be doing more damage. I'm going back to Seal Martyrdom, maybe. Yeah, Seal of Martyrdom just feels so much better. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't have taken this talent. We'll actually change our talents. Probably when we get into Black Fathom Deep, so for more of a tank spec because we will be doing that soon we are level 25 now so we can get into that raid and actually start getting some free biz gear for no more gun maybe we'll tank that eventually probably probably will maybe 
Depends when phase three comes out. I think it's like mid-April. It didn't take us that long to get to level 40. Still need to do Nomergon on my priest. You will be doing that soon. I've kind of taken a break on the priest for a little bit. But we'll be back on him once again to get a, a few ruins, a little bit of PvP, and do a, a run or two of Nomergon just to check it out for phase three comes out and then we'll be gearing up to do sunken temple interested to see what that that's going to be like yeah these guys do hit pretty hard i think being level 25 is helping quite a bit There is an elite that we are looking for. I think I, I tried to stay away from him on my warrior when I was leveling and locking him for Dan. My hardcore warrior. And I think he has two other ogres escorting him around. So we might have some trouble with him. But I think with Lay on Hands and, you know, Blessing of Protection, Bubble, all those great things, we should be just fine. All right, so we're done with the Enforcers. We just need to fight the, the Ogres. We're getting close to this shipment. It seems to be just over here. And I should should check out the note. We actually didn't finish it. So we're at this part here, page three. Refined door. There is a dwarf in Thessalmar, a smith that I trained with for some time, named Baylor Stonehand. Makes a very special alloy that I think would be perfect for your weapon. I expected a shipment of the alloy to arrive while I was in Ironforge, but I have yet to hear a word from him. Find him and check on the shipment, and if he's no longer in Lockmanan, I would at least know what's happened to my old teacher. Okay. I can actually walk around a lot of these guys here. Seems like the shipment is supposed to be here. There it is. There we go, we got it. So we'll, we'll deal with these ogres. Let's keep fighting these guys. We got this quest done. We'll check out page four of Jordan's weapons notes. Smithing hammer before the coming of the plague and Arthas's betrayal. I lived in a town called Pyrewood, deep within the beautiful forest of Silver Pine. The forest isn't nearly as beautiful as it once was, and the keep where I learned the secret of steel has long since become corrupt and foul, overrun with creatures of unimaginable evil. When my wife and I made our escape from what is now called Shadowfang Keep, we left some of our most precious possessions. All right, so it looks like we will be heading into Shadowfang Keep soon, yes. That's good. We haven't done that dungeon yet of the Paladin. All right, so let's check out the next page here, page five. Among them, the smithing hammer my fathers gave me. I doubted it in my youth, but he always told me that the hammer was enchanted and it's the last reminder I had of him before he was killed by the Scourge. Bring me my hammer, Travisine, so I may use it as a focus for my passion. If it is indeed enchanted, then I will only, will only aid us both. I left it in the stables in the main courtyard of the keep. Unless the creatures there have taken up smithing themselves, then I expect it to still be lying there. Okay, so we have to go to the stables in the keep of 
Shadow King Key, which is pretty damn close. It's like right at the beginning. The thing is, some people actually do skip that, so we gotta make sure that our group goes into the keep and slays all the horses in there. You can get a bag from it, so it is worth it. And the final page here is page six. A core gem. From the tales I've been told, the gems are used by some spellcasters to hold energy for their magics, making them even deadlier. A night elf once helped, Thunderous Windweaver can tell you more since he will be speaking on my behalf. I believe one of the gems stored energies that can be used in your weapon's creation. When last we spoke, Thundras was in Aberdeen, a town deep within Darkshore, the corrupted forest that dots the coast underneath the shadow of the Night Elf homeland. Okay, so we're going to have to make our way over there to Aberdeen. Eventually, we'll have a chat with him. We'll find out where the core gem is. Alright, so we are officially done with these ogres, but we still need to find the brutes. They are supposedly over here in these caves, I assume. And then deep within the caves, I guess, is uh, Big Boss Chalk Sewell. Let's see how we do. I've actually never really done any of these quests, to be honest, so interested to see what this cave is like. It looks like it's pretty damn deep. Yeah, we don't have a, a might buff. Oh, wow. It's gonna be kind of tough. Can I patrol at least? Yeah, he does, but I'm gonna get wrecked. Trying to pull him out a bit. I'm gonna stun. Can hit pretty hard here. Should be fine. We can kick this. No, we can't. We can take that to the face. And then kick that. And then we'll use a bomb. And we'll heal ourselves. We can take magic damage while we're, we're bobbed, though, so that's not good. Got to make sure this guy doesn't heal. Kick this. Damn, we're getting wrecked. We are taking damage from Steel Martyrdom, which is not good. This guy's, this guy's wrecking us. Oh, okay. So lay on hands. These brutes hit hard, guys. We have no mana. No pots. We do have bubble, but you have to survive for another 18 seconds to use it. We do have hammer justice, so we'll make sure we use that. And we'll bandage up. Guess we got a little bit of health there. I don't even know if the bandage is worth it. We're getting wrecked. Can we bubble? Yeah, we can. I can't heal, though. I can use... Damn it. have any mana pots? Yeah, okay. Flash shield. Damn it, I'm dead. <laughs> Damn it. No! Walk of shame back. That's a tough fight. I don't know if we're going to be able to handle those guys. So BS that we died there. So close to killing him. Let's put the mana pot here. You're a little faster on the mana pot. It's crazy. We use lay on hands, bop. We healed a couple times. We used two hand hammer of justice. Kick that that mage a few times. Still couldn't take him down. That's why I think the that Chalk Soul guy is going to be kind of tough. But we're going to we're going to give this a solid attempt. 
And it's good that we were able to walk on water in spirit form so we can get back a little faster. But yeah, he was barely taking any damage. Did have Devotion Aura up, so... Gives us additional armor. Maybe Red Aura might be better. I doubt it. I think we need the armor. <laughs> against, uh... Those, those Ogres. Except for the Casters. Casters, de probably Devotion Aura doesn't help too much. But yeah, no mana there. That's it's the rough thing about uh, Leon Hands. Yeah, those brutes are going to be tough. Here we go, round two, guys. Let's heal ourselves up. have a drink. Oh, just used a, a mana pot by accident. It's okay, though. We'll be back up soon. I think we'll stick with Devotion Aura. Alright, let's fight this guy again. Are you serious? How did I pull two there? <laughs> we we're like 100% dead. I can't fight too. We gotta run. Don't have bop. This is our best way to run, I think. Okay, good. They ran back. It really sucks not having a range pull. These brutes hit really hard. Are you kidding me? So yeah, we just can't do this. Automatic pulling too every time. Stun one. Keep on running. I'm gonna have to use Bop here. And they run away. So yeah, I think it's like impossible. It's weird how we were able to pull one last time because I guess we pulled from the shaman. We'll try this other area here. Maybe it's easier for us to pull them one by one. But we can't. We can't do two brutes, guys. That's it. It's, it's impossible. Let's see if we can pull these one at a time. Maybe these ogres do. Quite a bit of damage. I think we might use Seal of Command instead. Really afford the damage we're taking. The martyrdom. We have a spirit, or oh, we have an intellect. Scroll. I thought we could use it. Gives us four in intellect. Thirty minutes should help a little bit. Okay, so this is the same type of cave, which kind of sucks. Seems like these guys are patrols. And the thing is, we're gonna probably pull both of them, which I'm not really a fan of.
favor stun for the heal. Why don't we hit us with the lightning bolt there? There's the healing wave. There we go, we should be good. Let's see if we can deal with these brutes. We can't, we can't. It is what it is. It's kind of sad. There's no one else here either. We're on layer four. It's the other thing I hate about layers. Maybe there would be another, you know, ally, alliance player here. I could ash the chat. Okay, two, pull two. That's, uh, it's bad. It's a no-no. Okay. Might have to bubble. Nope. So it looks like it's impossible to pull a, a Brute solo at the moment. So there's one more cave and it's up here. Maybe we can actually find some solo fights inside of this cave. That's what I'm hoping. Because we can't get them in the other two. Hitting this guy pretty damn hard. Okay, we, this should, could be better. Maybe we should have came here first. <laughs> Looks like we can actually fight a brute solo without having to deal with any others. Let's see how this goes. Pretty standard ogre cave here. Hopefully... All the way in the back. This guy's hitting us so hard. And stun him. Holy light. Hopefully that does this, does something. Come on, man. Close fight. We'll have uh, Hammer adjust us up in 30 seconds. I think we need it. All right, so we have a patrolling brute there. Deal with this mystic. Pick that. Want to deal with this patrolling brute. Gonna hit us with that one. Kick that. Trolling brutes coming back. We can finish this guy off and run away. drink in and then we'll fight this guy so we should get all four brutes we'll get this quest done at least i don't know if we'll get the big boss man down but 
Should get uh, the brute stick. We're kicking the crap out of this one. Send us pretty hard here. Okay, where's, where's Big Boss, man? Usually they're... Yeah, they're at the back here. Classic Ogre Cave, guys. They're all the same. Well, most of them are. We always have the boss man back here. I think there's another one in Franco Thorn Vale. It's just like this. We might have to use. Yeah, we're gonna have to use. Uh, get a holy light off. One more brute to go. And then we'll see if boss man's for sure gonna have a few ogres around him, which just probably means we're just we just can't do it. It's my guess. If he doesn't, then we could potentially give it a try. This guy's name again? Mogrash. I have to hunch. It's a bubble. I missed it coming back. Can't get. Can't pull him. Finish him. Punch him there? <laughs> I think we punched him at the end. Alright, let's try to sneak in here. I'll have a drink. Got a brute there. We have a mystic. Actually, there's one over there, maybe. I assume there's like three ogres right here. That's usually how they have it set up. Let's go see. Lightning bolt. Kick the first one. There's a chest there. That's cool. Gotta make sure he doesn't heal. That would not be good. deal with this ogre up here and we'll see what let's tell us what's over there yeah i think he's got like two two brutes with him at least get this chest yeah, maybe we can try doing like some fancy pulls and, and see if we can pull this off it'll be tough though i don't have might here i've been beat up pretty bad by this brute I might have to bubble which kind of sucks He's blessing protection. Should fall off here. Well, at least we got a chest, guess. So if we can't do this, at least we came in here and got something. And that was a banana. Light leather. And a couple lesser healing pots. That actually helps. Nice. Might need those. Alright, so let's see if we can pull these one by one. 
I'll be surprised if we can even kill Chalk Sewell solo. If we're able to even actually get a pull like that. Let's see. Trying to hit him here. Looks like we're too far. There we go. Oh my gosh. Nice. Okay, that's one down. I know we can't do two. We can't do two, but that's good that we got one. Can use bubble if we get in trouble here. I'm gonna stun him. Heal up. Yeah, that was a nice heal. He's pretty much full health. We got Buccaneers, Gloves of the Eagle of that guy. Three intellect, two stamina, 21 armor. Oh, that's a good time to pull this guy, guys. Oh, gosh. Stay there. So there's actually... Yeah. He actually patrols around a little bit. Let's see if he moves back here. There we go. Turn, turns around. Oh, oh what that? Okay. Maybe we can kill this guy with Chalk Sewell on us. Maybe. Probably not. It's like impossible. No. Okay. No, I'm running away. Okay, bubble. Yeah. I think it's impossible, guys. Looks like that was like a really good time to pull, I thought. Next time we do this, we need to have Blessing of Protection up. Try one more time. We'll have Bop up in 30 seconds. This looks like a good time right here. Like it, it looks like a good time, but is it a good time? Now it doesn't look like a good time, so we'll just wait for for four barons to finish. We have Bop up in a few minutes. You gotta wait for him to get it, like here. You wanna pull him sort of over here. Come on. Come on. <laughs> it's the only way we can do it. Still waiting for Bob to come up. We got 45 seconds on it. Is that as good as it gets? So it looks a lot like the last time we pulled, which was a fail. That might be as good as it gets right there. Oh, that might be. No. Not good. That's good. I don't think we have Bob for this one either. Do you have Hodge? And Choxel is beating the crap out of us. Use that health bot. Yeah, it's impossible, guys. We need, a, we need somebody else. Or we just need to be a higher level so we can actually handle two of them at a time, so it is what it is. We did finish that one quest. We just can't take down uh, Chalk Sewell without having to fight a brute with him, so it is what it is. We tried. Would have been nice to take him down. So let's start in these quests, guys. Talk to me. So any luck yet? Haha, -ha, those ogres didn't get the best of you yet, did they? Yup, yup, this is it. Hey! 
If I'd known you were really gonna head out there and fight some of them ogres, I would have given you a list of things to get instead of just this one thing. But you're not here doing business for me, are you? A deal's a deal. Jordan wanted a shipment of me alloy. That's what he's gonna get. Tell him hello for me and be safe, adventurer. Ugh, you startled me, woman. Can't you see I was lost in thought? What's that? Jordan okay. shipment. All right, well, we got the shipment, guys. So that's good. So we just need two more. The smithing hammer, which we get from Shadowfang Keep. And then we need... What can I do for you? Ah, this is excellent gem. news. Your efforts are greatly appreciated by myself from, and the people of Thelsamar. I guess Aubrey, we have to go to If we can solve the ogre problem, talk to an we'll idol. be able to shift our focus to those light-burning trogs. Okay, so to get to... I just want to see what's going on here with uh, our journey. Mark my words, you won't find to... faster griffins anywhere in the Eastern Kingdoms than the ones right here in Thelsamar. It's where we need to go. We actually need to make our way all the way up to South Shore, guys. Should we do that now? We can do that now if you guys want. We might as well. And then we'll be ready to go for Shadowfang Keep. Because I need to make that journey anyways. So, we might as well do it now. I could do it, you know, off episode, but I think we'll do the journey. Why not? We haven't done it on this character, so might as well show the journey from the wetlands to South Shore. We'll also probably go and make a stop at this broken down camp where we can get a few first aid books that teach us, I believe, wool, not wool and bandage, could be silk. Silk bandage? But there's two books there that we can purchase. So we might as well get go get those as well. Shouldn't take us too long. Another quest chain we could check out is the cozy sleeping bag quest chain. I did that on my on the priest though. But it is a good item to have for Season of Discovery. You get a 3% experience bonus from that buff, which would be nice to have in the next phase if we do decide to level the Paladin. Yeah, that was uh, some close calls there, guys, with those ogre brutes. Those ogre bosses are tough, man. They, they always have two ogres protecting them. The one in Stranglethorn Vale in the cave that does as well. Looks like we got some fighting going on here. All right, time for us to make our way to South Shore. I was thinking about doing this next episode, but I think next episode we'll just save for doing the dungeon, Shadow Fan Keep. And then maybe we'll we'll stop by Aberdeen. That would actually be a pretty good idea. I'm just thinking about setting my hearth there, but it do doesn't matter. I can do that later. Because uh, there's a boat, actually, in Menethil Harbor from the harbor to Aberdeen. So we could do that after Shadowfang Keep. Is 
This has been an awesome question, though. I have enjoyed it. It brings you into a few dungeons, which is cool. You go into the Dead Mines. Looks like we're going into Shadow Fan Keep next. So that's cool. Fight quite a few elites. And I hope this is a good weapon. I'm interested to see what it's like. Maybe we can actually be a red pallet and in the, in the dungeon instead of a tank. That's a murloc chasing us. Could get a little bit dangerous. You're going to have to watch out for running through these areas here. We are a low level. And this muck dweller could be potentially a challenge for us. I think we'll be okay. If we pull a bunch of them, we're probably dead. Really done any quests in the wetlands. I don't know if we will. That's one thing about this uh, Scover's Delight buff. Yes, it is nice, you know, leveling up faster, but you do have to pick and choose which zones you want to level in. That's what I've noticed. It's not like classic era leveling where you sort of end up leveling in each zone a little bit. More of a slower pace, but you get to experience more of the world, which is nice. Especially if you enjoy the, the leveling experience. But if you are just into the end game, right? You just want to just check out all the new abilities and, and get yourself into Normagon and gear your character up as fast as you can. And I guess, yeah, Discoverer's Delight is great for that. And you can't, and it's great if you want to just play a bunch of different alts. It also helps casual, you know, casual players who only have like maybe a couple hours a week to actually get to max level and, and experience a little bit of the end game before a new phase comes out. So I say it's it's a net positive. The discovers the light stuff. So I think it was a good idea. Because if you want to experience the world and classic era style leveling, you can always just go to one of those servers or play hardcore. Right? Season of Discovery is supposed to be a just for fun new experience in, in, in classic WoW. So I think they're doing a great job. And it's cool that they're, they're not having a PvP event next uh, phase. It's a PvE event called the Nightmare Excur Incursions, where we go into the Emerald Dream and fight dragons. I think that will be enjoyed by more more people in the, in the WoW community, because I know there's people in, in WoW that just don't enjoy PvP in general. So those people for, will for sure enjoy this event more than the PvP one. And I've heard the PvP in Season of Discovery hasn't really been that great. It's mostly just like players getting killed in two global cooldowns or a few global cooldowns by like OP classes like shamans and mages. So I think switching to a PvE event was smart. And if people want to PvP, they can always just go back, right? They can go down to Stranglethorn Vale and PvP to their heart's desire. Or, you know, just do a battleground. Right? Oh, look at that. We had a, another level 25 here with us. Give him a buff. Heal him up. I think he's a warrior. Night Elf Warrior.
But yeah, I, I like the idea. I think uh, phase three is going to be a lot of fun. Then I do kind of think I want to play Season of Discovery more than Cataclysm because I have played Cataclysm before in its entirety, so I would uh, prefer to try something new. Even though it's not really new, but it's it's still new. Like these these raids are new, even though they're old dungeons. And these uh, nightmare incursions are going to be new as well. But who knows? We may get into season of discovery eventually. I mean, cataclysm probably on my druid. We'll do a little level eighty to eighty-five journey on him, and we'll see what happens who knows check out all the, the old school cataclysm zones there's some that I I want to check out again deep I really like deep home I think the underwater area would be actually kind of fun as a druid because you have the swimming form right where you turn yourself into a uh, a manatee, I believe. Gives you swim speed. That would be actually pretty cool. As a druid, I think. I hated it. I just hit, I think that was my least favorite leveling set in Cataclysm was the underwater area. And then there's Uldum, the, the desert area. That place is kind of cool. Mount Hygel, I enjoyed. It's going to be interesting because it's bringing us back to Azeroth. Or I guess to the Eastern Kingdoms and... Oh, got some Hordes coming. Left us alone. I guess you, you could say Kalimdor in the Eastern Kingdoms. Northern's still considered Azeroth, but... In Wrath of the Lich King, you rarely ever go back to the Eastern Kingdoms and... You know, just the classic era areas. I think was a mistake that World of Warcraft made. The game really turned into, you know, we make a new area, this is where you play. You don't really ever go back to the old areas. And I think they tried to experiment with that in Cataclysm and it didn't really work. So they decided to just say, you know what, we're going back to the way we re we're doing it, which was just creating a new area, and that's where these where new players will play. And that's what they did with Pandaria and Missa Pandaria and pretty much all the other future expansions. Oh no. Oh no. You ran into these guys. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh. Running into everything. Okay, help bot. We're gonna die. Oh my gosh, we're not gonna die. <laughs> I can't believe we ran into the bodyguards. So there's an undead escort. And it's a quest where we just ran into it. And there's Fosric too. It's another epic quest. Spot him on flight carrier. It took me like a couple minutes to take him down. But yeah, there's an undead escort quest. There's like a messenger they're escorting from farm over here. I forget what it's called all the way up to Terran Mill and Hillsbrand. And in hardcore, you got to watch out for those guys because if they run up on you like we just got ran up on, you're most likely going to die, especially if you're a warrior. Where would you like to fly to? Okay, so there we go. We got a new flight point, guys. And now we're going to get a few first aid books. These guys you got to watch out for if you're Horde. They will for sure wreck you. And they bring you to Shromgard, which is where we're heading to right now. Got some level 40s here. We got mounts. Can't wait till we get our mount. 
That'll be a fun quest to do. Let's see what type of loot we got inside of Shadowfang Keep. I know there's a nice, yeah, the one-handed axe is nice, that cleaver. It is a little bit better than our cruel barb. That rings, this is what we really want. Silver Lane's family ring, I really hope that drops. It rarely ever drops though. Seven strength, three stamina. That would help quite a bit. Commander's crest shield, yeah, we do want that. Much better than our bastion of storm wind. And then there's quite a few, there's really good caster gear in here. Phantom armor, that's, that's nice. This place is actually great for getting us ready for Black Fathom Deeps. Feline mantle shoulders. Uh, so great for casters. Meteor shard dagger. I wonder if we can use daggers as a tank or as a human. Oh, I think we can. That'd be awesome to tank with the meteor shard. And then they have the robes of Aragal, the belt of Aragal, great items for casters. I think we have those on the priest. All right, so here we are in Stromgard Keep, guys. We're going to make our way to a vendor that will sell us a few first aid books. I don't think we can learn them at the moment, but hopefully eventually we will be able to learn them. We do need to learn Woolen Bandage. I don't think we can learn that from the vendor here. Deneb Walker is his name. Here he is. And he sells manual heavy silk bandage and manual majory bandage. And then expert first aid. We need all of those. So that's good. We got that. Don't think we need anything else. We got all three of those books. Eventually we will be able to learn them all. Once we hit 125 first aid. I had a mount. <laughs> I think that every time I see somebody with a mount. One day, guys, one day. A human rope. And right over here is where you get your cozy sleeping bag. It's pretty cool. I've never been up there ever in Classic WoW, so they gave us a little spot where you could jump up. It's just on the other side right over here. Want to see if we can build an SFK? Yeah, sure. That sounds like a good idea, Touch. I guess he's, he's reading my mind. Read my mind. <laughs> there we go. Looks like we should have an SFK group soon. Hope we get the ring, guys. It would help. A lot. There we go. The double paladin combo. Can't go wrong with that. The more paladins, the merrier. The more auras, the better. 
wonder how many auras you can have as a pal like that's a paladin. I wonder if they introduced any new ones in Season of Discovery. Because having all of these auras is great. Having red aura, devotion aura, concentration aura. It's pretty damn awesome. I've heard shamans are getting nerfed quite a bit in the next phase. I guess this was the phase for shamans. I've heard good things about, you know, tanking as a shaman, elementals, great. Enhance has been amazing as well, supposedly. So I guess they they were the flavor of this patch. Same with mages. Mages were rare for that as well. I think mages will be good throughout all of Season of Discovery. They weren't amazing in Phase 1, but they were still pretty good. I don't think mages can ever really be bad. They're just a well-built class. I consider them the, the all-around best class in regular Classic Era. Wow. Good at PvP, PvE. Great at making gold. Oh, no. See you later, Mr. Druid, even though you're going to kill me out of this bubble. <laughs> he rooted me there. I guess he's seen that uh, that animal is chasing me, and he's like, you know what, I'm going to root him and let that panther take him down or whatever that animal was. Is that a cheetah? Not too sure. I know it wasn't a mountain lion. There's mountain lions here. Is he actually going to fight me? <laughs> we should have fought that guy. <laughs> Getting attacked. Let's see if he wrecks me here. He's going to build up his rage. Finish him off. Yeah, they're, they're actually mountain lions, guys. No mercy for the horde. I've been grieved too much on the server. I know it does hasn't looked that way during this playthrough. It's actually been kind of peaceful. Uh oh, we're dead. We are dead. We actually have to heal right now. We're dead. <laughs> Shadow Priest came and just wrecked us. <laughs> oh man, I didn't have lay on hands. That was our only hope. That was hilarious. I deserved that. I really did. That must be that guy's other character. He's, he probably logged on that priest. He's like, who do you think you are, pal? That's, <laughs> that was hilarious. That had to be his. There's no way he has like an escort. Just That was just ahead of him, maybe. Who knows? I could have been his friend. I think he's trying to get the the cozy sleeping bag quest completed. Seems like he was on his way there. But yeah, guys, that is going to be the end of today's episode. We made our way to, to uh, South Shore. And next episode, we will be heading over to Shadowfen Keep and completing that dungeon. But as always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.